Oh, music just got spookier. The beginning of the end. The end of everything. Oh, hello there, tiny chubby child. Let's be friends. I'm Porky. I'm really just this meek little boy. Please dote over me more. Please talk to me like good boys and girls, you know, just like me. No. That's not very nice now, is it? Actually, I'm not very nice either. I'm a bomb! Porky 01 and score co co horse attacked. Oh, the music! Weak against lightning. Excellent. Your offense isn't anything ridiculously powerful. Ooh, PSI shield. You are fucked, Kipper. Unless we can quickly heal you up, but that's a tall order. Master. Life up Omega! Tech, tech, tech. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god, more attack animations. Oh. Alright, let's use this. We will abuse it good. I really should get the Mother 3 soundtrack at some point. It's just... It's just amazing. Alright, that should be enough health to play safe. Ah, uh, super bomb time. This is where these are gonna shine. Oh, I should put more into Hagfish's inventory. That's alright. Alright, we gotta use Life Up Omega again. Mechanically playing dead. Oh, come on. Oh, that's ticking down really close. Alright, we got down to like 20. I mean, we got this. The only thing that's really hard is if, um... If somebody does go down, I'm a little bit fucked. Mm. PSI counter could be good, though. Not PSI counter, but the counter spell. Probably should have done that at the start, but... Oh well, can't remember strategies. And we're still rocking this fight, so... All is good. Alright, super bomb. Like, I feel like 
this set of encounters at the end of Mother 3, it does feel like an epic conclusion to this game. Number 6 joined the fight. Fucking dogfish. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's whip out a PK Star Storm because we can. Oh, I'm fine with that because we will heal up that damage. Vodka and kippers go together like peanut butter and jam. Reconstructed mole, that's right. <laughs> I do like how, though, for this battle, they bring out a lot of old enemies. Like, do you remember all these guys whose asses you wiped? Thunder Omega. I think that PK shield might have just reflected, like, uh, Star Storm and stuff like that. Well, we'll, we'll certainly put that to the test, that's for sure. I think there's just seven Pokies. Alright, another Super Bomb! Might be the last one we have. Hope it's the last one, because we're running low on health now. Oh, uh, magic at least. Ah, oh, three more. Damn. Uh, well, Pokey didn't necessarily die at the end of Birthbound. What happened was... He got... He went fucking crazy because he saw Gigas' true form, and I think he might have got transported through time or some such. It's a little unclear, but here he is now. Um, no idea what happened to Thicky. I think he ended up just going back home without anything happening. It was the DCMC! Tondagosa, dramatic climaxes are when unruly dudes like us get to shine. Shimmy schmiz. Seems this Master Porky guy was trying to use us to brainwash everyone. So it's high time we screw up his idiotic plans. Man, these guys were just critical hounds. Don't mess with OJ. He will fucking murder you. Oh, our dad is here! Come, hagfish. Kipper, this is it. This is finally it. We managed to corner the enemy, or have we all been dragged here? Hmm. Suppose it doesn't matter either way, right, Fugu? Man, we've got a mob going. Oh, wee scoff. Come a little closer so I can see your face better. I do like how this whole time, um, seems like maybe in the background Flint has been preparing for this final battle himself, and there's a whole aspect of his journey we just haven't seen. Like, that is fascinating to me. Traveler who just journeyed to and from past and future. I'm the most clever, most charming, most trouble-making boy ever. Master Porky Minch. I would not mind more of uh, Earthbound 3 with uh, 
flint and hagfish. Or sockeye and hagfish, I should say. I welcomed you once again, you weak hangers on pretending to be the last survivors of this world. Spankity, spankity, spankity! <laughs> Wow, you're looking a little rough there, gotta say. You resorted to blanking your memories to create a new world where humanity's past failures would never be repeated. How stupid can you be? No matter how much you change the rules, no matter how much you refuse to admit defeat, and the creatures known as people will always sign their own death warrant by acting out stupidity and evil. And then mankind will be gone for good would have been happy if only you would have done as I did, and then obediently follow the visionary, selfish desires of a great hero. Why is it you struggle to cling to life with such puny minds, pitiable bodies, and feeble hearts? Well, no matter, the curtain is about to fall on this pathetic little play of yours, because soon the power of power will be mine! The world and everything in it has been my oyster so far. I'll end up by acquiring the ultimate power. I guess? Now that we're face to face like this, I won't hold anything back. My slave, my lifeless son, will pull the final needle for me. And the moment he does, the dragon should awaken and do as I want. Which time I assume you fools will turn into garbage or dust or something. Finally disappear for good. <laughs> I'll admit, that's kinda sad. I would be crushed under the weight of boredom if it were any other way. Wheeze, wheeze, wheeze. Gasp, 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 gasp. Do you understand now? Do you understand the sadness Mr. Porthy bears now that he's godlike? Dude needs an inhaler. <laughs> Uh, with that flashing, I expect the whole tower to blow up. You love your little dramatic plays, so this couldn't have come at a better time for you. It seems that seventh and final needle has just been located deep underground below here. I refuse to help you anymore! I assume you want to pull it too, right, Kipper? You panic? Why not go and check it out then? We just need like a T minus countdown. Oh man, that reminds me, I really want to watch um, Alien again now. I love Alien, one of my favorite films. <laughs> cough, 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 cough. Gasp, gasp, bring it on if you can catch up to me, that is. Use the elevator all you want, spankity, spankity, spankity. Any villain who uses spinkity as an insult is a force to be reckoned with. Well, no escape now. I like how vodka is just kind of like floating through the air. The screen intensifies! Oh man, Fugu's face is amazing. Though I have to say, I also love how um, Hagfish is also screaming. Like, that's something awesome. Man, Sockeye's just like holding onto his hat. And that's the end of the game, we're dead. <laughs> Alright, we're pretty close to the end of the game now. Kipper. Something that's had me concerned. You let me go on ahead first? Just say yes and don't ask why, okay? Thanks, don't ask why. 
Seems like I've been gone a long time. Then go ahead and keep going. He's gonna try to take on Porky Solo. Which, if he did his proper level grinding, would not be an issue. You gonna go? So many stairs! Man, it's a good thing we don't have bad knees or something or else the world would be screwed. Ladder sprinting. Down the ladder we go! What is this? The store knob seems familiar. dropped it. And I remember reading an article back in the day that was talking about that doorknob and how it's kind of a recurring brick joke. See at the game, it pops up later. That is the joke, but you know, it really starts off the journey and you see it all throughout and I don't know, there is something very sweet about seeing it here in this strange foreign place, just the door to your house, just here in this abyss. Sense of familiarity in the unknown. Incredibly enough, there was a hot spring inside the box. I'm down with that. Relaxing the hot spring made everyone in Kipper's party feel alive again. Wow, spooky. So right now, this part of the game is like the equivalent of um, it's like the equivalent of when you travel through time in uh, Earthbound. Not sure what this guy's weak to. Maybe. Well, what is he? Dinamino. Maybe electricity. Weak against ice. And I think these guys also have a chance of dropping, um, like, magic puddings. Oh wow, they actually did not have that much health. It's kind of... Shocking. Hello there, Mr. Finamino. Blinding speed. Zero bam. Black Spottle needs the game's title image or something. Maybe. Good thing to keep in mind for uh, later games. Like, I don't think I'm gonna mess with it now since I'm so close to uh, finishing the game. But yeah, I'll try to optimize the real estate. Uh, maybe for the stream later tonight. So that's something I could do is I could like move my um, face cam so it's up a bit higher. Or no, I can leave my face where it is and just have the game title or image right there. A minerali. Weak against lightning. Has a bit more health than the other enemy. Still a bit of a pushover. Ooh, a cup of life noodles. All right, go be a product or responsible parent.
something over on this side. Yeah, I'm not sure there are, like, any presents down here. Also, I think I might have missed an item, um, in kind of the lab area, area of, uh, Porky's Tower. So I think there was something I could get for Hagfish. Kipper started feeling feverish. Ooh, more magic. What's left for us to get? Counter Omega, PSI Omega, PSI Counter Omega, Offense Up Omega, Defense Up Omega, PK... I don't know. Is there only one last spell for us, though? I think that might be the case. See if they uh, sell like Franklin badge patches to like put on um, clothing items or like pins or something. Get your magic. That is the end of the line. Learned Refresh? What does that do? Not sure I've gotten it before. Slowly raises... Okay, so that's like a regen that affects the whole party. Oh man, that is... That is going to be OP. Oh no! Not Sockeye! That, that masked man, he's Trout. Kipper, he's your brother. Trout! I don't know why he's obeying this porky guy. But as a father, I finally found the son I lost. Spell's pro important, I'll completely forget about it. Like, I'm sure once I start the battle, I will never use it. Kipper, be happy. I finally found your brother. Final needle. Kipper, make sure you pull it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Don't worry about me, just hurry to the needle. Kipper and Trout cannot be brothers. Jake Money, are you a fish biologist? I think not. I guess I don't know if he is dropping an item. No item. Friends of microbiologists. Well, your friend's full of shit, says the person playing Mother 3. <laughs> Ooh, we got the real bat. Nice. 
Oh no, that that is really awesome though that you do have a friend who's a microbiologist in all seriousness. It's pie for the best and most regular of customers. Uh reduces all enemies HP to one. Could be a dud though. I'm gonna drop this because it's not gonna work on the bosses. Real bat. A bat that brims with mystery and courage. Oh man, that raises my PP by another 50 points and offense by 25. That is broken. I love that. Yeah, let's equip that right now. There's a ladder that goes up to place. Where are these other places? Alright, that leads nowhere. That goes down to somewhere. Alright, that is empty. Up the ladder we go. Oh man, is this the final battle? Stop! Stop right there! Here comes Mr. Spider-Bot. I don't know if we're ready for this battle yet. It's Nameless Trout? But now it's my robot. Not even a fragment of life remains inside it. It's the Master Porky's slave robot. It does whatever I say. Acts on my will alone. It's my double. Doesn't know anything about who you are. Cough, 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 cough. First things first, I actually do have to use the light up. Porky's weak to thunder. Uh, what items do I have? Super bomb, ancient banana, luxury banana, life noodles. Slur that offense. Sniff it. Increased by 34, so it's got a moderate amount of uh, attack. Ooh! That is not good. So let's put up, um, a shield on everyone, then we'll do the regen. Let's see how much Star Storm does by comparison. Oh no, he's he's still in his uh, spider thing for sure. Ooh, and that's why we need that shield up on everyone because those physical attacks hurt. Ooh, goddamn! Got to get a heal on everybody. Not sure we'll be able to do that fast enough. Maybe we can. Recovery, life up, Omega, and then just smash attack. I don't care if it does nothing, it'll keep Vodka alive. That is the right translation. That's what you get with fan translations, though. Accuracy! Let's wait for that health to go all the way up, and then we'll use Refresh. Or at least for Hagfish to get 200. Alright, now we're good. So, let's stick with, like, um, PSI Freeze and uh, all that, because we don't want Starstorm constantly killing Vodka over and over again. Oh, 
that still does it though. Maybe it's just uh, lightning bypasses shields. Let's do thunder again. Mr. Mask. There we are. Not sure if that's the second or the third tier of that, but something. Alright, we need to get a second shield on everyone going. Okay, so Thunder is good because it just bypasses uh, PSI stuff. It also uses a lot less PP, so that's going to be the most efficient thing in the long run. Let me fill you in on something. No matter how much you attack me, I'll never die. Even if I somehow wind up beaten, I'll never die. You didn't know that, did you? Spooky. Let's use another life up, because why not? Then once we're all uh, in a place where our um, our health is good, we need to start doing defense up on everybody. I need to get that shield back up. Forgot about that. So that's off of most people right now. Alright, they're at full health again. Let's get that shield up on everybody, and then we can also get a counter up on top of that. Um, that, that'd be good. Alright, Fugu, double up with the scary mask. Ooh, because now Hagfish is starting to do some basic damage. And then I feel like two more layers will definitely do the trick. up. You need magic, you have magic pudding. Start. More tickle stick action. Uh, use a king burger. Ooh, second defense down. Second defense up. More thunder. One more tickle stick. Nice. I'm sure that uh, Porky has quite a bit of health. I've gone through time and space so many times that I haven't aged like a normal person. Who knows, I might be a thousand years old, or even ten thousand years old, but despite that I'm still the same kid at heart. Isn't that funny? It is, isn't it? Does it make you laugh? Cough, wheeze. Are you laughing at me? Like you want something to get up in there. See, I thought it was like frozen into a scream of horror, but I could see either. Do we have a 
have PSI Magnet? We do not. Life Noodles. Honey Shower. That attracts bees, doesn't it? Paralysis Super Bomb. Let's use a Super Bomb, why not? Oh, the refresh fade. Faded. Oh, damn, and I'm out of uh, Magic Restores at this point, so I might get fucked soon. Swarm of bees attacked Porky. Nice. Oh man, this is gonna get tricky because we are running out of useful items. Inside like magnet. Uh, ancient banana. Frozen like this ever since Ness kicked him, at, kicked his ass. Yeah, for sure. Porky doesn't have any PP. Well then. Yeah, I think we're just like down to physical attacks then and hoping for the best. Actually, do you have one more heal? Healing. Let's do that in Fugu, because I think he might have the highest attack rating. Hmm. Vodka can use healing. Heal thine self, physician. Alright, we're just gonna mash that attack button now and hope for the best. The dragon wakes up, it might end up destroying everything and extinguishing all life! So, ha 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 ha! So I'll be alive. Me and the dragon will be the only things left alive in the whole wide world. I'm more than ready for that possibility. <laughs> cough, cough, cough. Gasp, please. My eternal life, I will see the world through to its end until everyone who won't like me is gone. What did Porky do? I guess we do have some healing items if we need them. Like the luxury bananas and the pizza. Though the defense up and the offense down are synergizing quite well. The damage that Perky's dealing is pretty um, negligible. Thank you for playing along with me all the way to the end like this. I'm actually a pretty nice guy, wouldn't you say? Everyone who won't like me is gone, Donald Trump. Oh man, the similarities there are uncanny. Hmm. That's a bit more of a dick move. Luxury banana. King Burger. Uh, luxury banana. Luxury banana. Oh man, he's just spamming that now. Fuck. Oh, this is going down. <laughs> that got down to like two points.
She was getting real for a moment. Ah, uh, still might be getting real. I might die here. Not sure I'll get through this boss battle. Oh! Porky sucks something up. Oh man, Jake Mining's theory is confirmed. But we killed the boss, look at this. I'll never die, I'll never die, nor will I ever be beaten. But it appears my machine has run out of energy. <laughs> I'm still laughing at that, sorry. It appears my machine has run out of energy for the moment. Ha 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 ha, Kipper. You have one, just so you know. Oh man, we didn't need to use a single life noodles on anybody. Going to duck inside this absolutely safe capsule for the time being. Good naming you. I'm inside. No attack will have any effect on me whatsoever. I'm sure, you're thinking to yourself, yeah, right. There's no such thing as absolutely. There is such a thing, and it's this absolutely safe capsule. I tricked Doctor Andonos and Mr. Saturns into making for me. Me, all for me. Porky basically is Cartman. He's a super say Oh man, with their little, like, travel pods? Yeah. Porky sealed himself inside the absolutely safe capsule. He's retreating, pulling Machida here. Oh, gotta, gotta. Gotta heal up. Oh, that's right, I had the lipstick. Forgot about that. But, um, now, we don't need to do anything. Is he training at 10,000 times gravity? Watch out! Yeah, my health is still dropping, but it's fine, because in this phase... Uh... Nothing can happen. Battle is over, by definition. Yeah, the only real threat there is if you... Your health is ticking down, and you have no way to provide yourself or heal yourself. Then you're fucked. Oh my. It's evil as old Porky here as I feel bad for him now. It is an absolutely safe capsule. But you can never leave it. Even what's outside of the absolutely safe capsule is absolutely safe. To tell Porky in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet, but all he can do now is live for an eternity inside the capsule in absolute safety. Who you knows, in a way he may have gotten exactly what he wanted. What do you think? Is it wrong of me to think this way? Uh, a little bit. It is wrong, you say. Be that as it may, it's a little too late to do anything now. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Not gonna lie. Um, so... Where's the save thingy, Majigger? See, there's the item guy. Oh my god. Alright, what I need... Well, first of all, let's give um, all the good healing items uh, to this guy. Doesn't need... I don't think trivia cards will work on this battle, but I don't know. Uh, let's drop the master stick. Uh, I don't know if the dragonfly would work either. Life noodles we'll give to somebody else. Because he's not gonna revive himself. Real chicken, 170, 120. What other good healing items do we have? There's no one inside dislikes him, that is oh so true. See that's 120. 
Uh, remove status effects. Uh, luxury banana. Give him the secret herb to cure status effects. Oh man, all the seas made me have to take another piss. We're gonna take another piss, and then I'll be back for the final battle. Feel bad for Porky because he is abused in his youth. Ah, he never had motherly affection. Name drop, bam! And suddenly, I'm crying inside. <laughs> is that pawn? Mm. So, our is our magic completely restored now? Let's look at the status. Ah, uh, no, not at all. Damn. That is not advantageous. We better have another sauna up in here. Otherwise, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. Vodka's level one up. Boogie went up. Though their levels don't really matter at this point, I don't think. Here's a save frog. Oh, we're right at 24 hours in this game. Wait, what did you say? Uh, let's... I don't know. I'm the final frog in the game. It's been such a short time, though it seems long too. In any case, thank you for your continued patronage throughout it all. For me, and all the other frogs, I thank you. Hop, teardrop. Oh, this game! So good! That's a spooky sound. Spooky hot spring. Alright, now we're good to go. Might get wrecked at the final, final battle though. We will see. Also oh, a poopy hot spring. No, that, that still has to go to the one in the sewer complex. Oh, a spoopy! <laughs> yes, the spoopiest. Lightning sword! Kipper's Franklin badge reflected the masked man's lightning back at him. I think he would have remembered that from the last time he tried this shit. Alright, here we go. It is on. The real final battle.
Oh, I should have used the standard counter, not counter Omega. Oh well. Oh, shield killer, damn it. Oh, can't run, didn't mean to run. Luke Skywalker? Yeah, doesn't he look like a Star Wars pilot for the Rebels? For whatever reason, when you guard uh, in this fight, it changes the... Oh, it just slows down the tick rate. I gotcha. RIP! <laughs> we'll see. I mean, this is a fight where we can definitely abuse the tick down mechanic because we can just mash physical attacks over and over again and then heal ourselves even as we should be long past dead. So it works. Wait for that health to go all the way up. Three hundred. Oh, that's good enough. For some reason Kipper couldn't attack. What? What is this madness? Why can't I fucking attack? Am I missing something here? Right, PK butts on me. Ah, uh, well. I'll heal myself and I'll use butts on you. Alright, sounds good, Complex. Oh, things are getting spooky. Uh... Kipper. Maybe I can't attack for this first part. Like... Scripted pacifism for the first part. From somewhere, you heard someone call your name. Now can I attack? Nope. Supposed to die? I don't know about that. It might be an endurance battle, like, I think I have to exhaust, uh, so much dialogue, Jake Money. Hence why, uh, blocking is actually a good mechanic. Trout. Since your health depletes slower. Oh man, I think it's our mom who's talking to us from the void. Ghost mom. Was Tilapia's voice, that's the name of our mother, failed to reach the masked man. Alright, now we want to heal up. Strawberry tofu, delicious. Let's use a full heal. We'll let our health go all the way up. And then we'll rinse and repeat. Drought. And this is kind of a interesting change because at the end of Mother 2 or Earthbound, or he's robot. You know, we call out to the void to silence an evil, but now somebody else is calling out from the void to silence our sibling. A bit different. A 
homeless man looked around. Life up. Our health is almost there. All right, now we're ready. So now let's exploit the block. There we go. That's how we should have been doing it from the beginning. So we can probably get like... Oof, seven, eight uh, rounds of combat in there like this. Before we need to heal again. I don't suppose we can attack now, can we? Superpowered. Kipper, look out! Sockeye jumped in front of Kip. Oh, that is so sad. Last man's attack dealt major damage to Sockeye. Hmm. Trout, please remember, I've been looking for you for so long. Sockeye suffered major damage. Sockeye couldn't stand up. Alright, now I'm at the point where I should heal up again. like have texts or silly little phone apps to do while health recovers. This is the battle for that. I need to figure out what I'm making for dinner. That's where I max health. Up, oh, I think his PK butts has gone down a notch. So I think he's using Omega before. Out. You and Kipper are brothers. Oh, nope, damn me to run. Damn. There we go, guarding. Up oh, now he's down to PK Butts Beta. That's not true! That's impossible! 
<laughs> Look within your heart, you know it to be true. Can you hear me? You're trout. Your name is Trout. You're our son. Life Mushroom, welcome to my stream. Um, you're just catching me during the final battle of Mother 3. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you uh, caught it in time then. Alright, now it's about time to uh, heal here. Alright, and we'll let that health tick all the way back up so we can uh, exploit it. But yeah, uh, man, this game, so good. So good, Mushroom, so good. So sad. <laughs> I think that's why I like it so much, is just that it's sad all the time. That's great. Yeah, this is a bit of a different approach to uh, most scripted battles, for sure. Alright, our health is almost there. Alright, now we're good. A miss? Ah. Remember! Oh, thank you for the follow, Life Mushroom. I do appreciate it. Oh, did not mean to. Oh god, I think I might have momentarily fucked up uh, the display. Okay, it looks good again. I think. Yes. accomplish things together that they couldn't alone. I'm sure they'll argue a lot too. Man, understatement. <laughs> I hope not. Otherwise, we are fucked, Jake Monty. We would be fucked. I will mix them up a lot until they get bigger. Trout. And Kipper, huh? How do you want them to grow up to be? Be kind, just like you. Oh, I was just gonna say... To be kind, just like you. Great, then it's decided. Yeah, 
make us proud. Now we can do damage. Keeper felt heartbroken. Oh. Mass fan gazed at Kipper. Mass fan covered his ears. Now is this also an endurance thing? Kipper isn't sure what to do anymore. Mass Man shut his eyes. Okay, I do believe this is also um, just a sequence thing. Mass Man gazed at Kipper. Kipper wanted to cry. Mass Man is gazing at Kipper. And then I break out PK Butts Omega. <laughs> Trout. Trout. Come to your mother. You must be so exhausted. Come here, Trout. Last man looked around as if searching for something. Bolt of lightning. Which was reflected. Trout took mortal damage. Staggered towards Kipper. Trout embraced Kipper. Kipper remembered Trout's smell. Sorry that it turned out like this. I'm really happy you could be with me just before the end. Thanks. Dad. Sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm going to where mom is now. Kipper. I hope we meet again someday. 
Bye. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Trout gave his final breath. Kipper, thank you. Trout was just hasty, that's all. You'll forgive your hasty brother, won't you? Alright, this is it. The time has come for you to pull the dragon's last needle. Are you ready? Yes. Both tilapia and trout have entrusted fate to you. Leaving yourself and pull that final needle, nothing needs to be sealed away anymore. Let's make the dark dragon sealed underground our new friend. Pass your heart on to the dragon. Pray to it from the bottom of your heart. Ask it to protect all life in this world. We all believe in you. So now you need to believe in yourself. Now go. The dragon's waiting to be woke up, woken up. life and all the lives of those who believe in you. Will you put it all on the line and pull the final needle? how much memory space all the songs in this game took up, because I imagine it must be pretty sizable. Oh, damn, we fucked up. That's what it looks like, at least.
pretty sure we do get a post log here. Oh yeah, because you can hear us blocking. This isn't a dream. It's a miracle, a real miracle. It seems everyone's alright. I thought everything was about to be destroyed. But everyone's alive. The only way to describe it is as a miracle. Did the dragon's revival give power to all life? That nearly scared me to death. But I guess this is what they mean by a crisis gone is easily forgotten. In any case, everyone's just peachy keen now. That's scary. That was the very definition of scary. Say, are you Flamingo Fishbot? Ah, you're okay, that's great. What a relief. Hey everybody, Flamingo Fishbot is over here and doing just fine. Flamingo Fishbot, Kipper said he wanted to meet you. Flamingo Fishbot, thank you so much for everything. And for helping Kipper and the others. This world might have been completely destroyed had it not been for you. I do like how the Mother series breaks the fourth wall. So scared the moment Kipper pulled the last needle. I did have faith, though. I had faith, but I felt the kind of fear so bad that I almost expected my entire body to blow apart. But as you can see, everyone's just fine. We've gained something incredibly immense. Don't know why, but I can't stop my tears from coming out. What is this feeling? What could it be? This is the first time I've ever seen you cry, Vodka. You're really cute, now that I look. Whoa, stop it, stop it, stop stepping on me. Even mole crickets are living creatures too, you know. Who poked you in the back? Guess who? Incidentally, I'm Wes, and it wasn't me. Malik, I didn't poke you in the back, Flamingo Fishbot. It's playing innocent, but Wes was the one who did it. We're both alive and well. Isn't that right? We're both well. Oxygen? Have we met somewhere before? Me, my name is Rope Snake. It's just considering living a quiet life as a snake rope now. If you happen to find that kind of sad, then please talk to me and say thanks. And your jaw saved us all. No ordinary snake could have done that. No ordinary rope. This conversation is turning out to be long, just like the snake I am, but I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Flamingo Fishbot, was it? I'll be certain to etch that name into my mind. Have a good new year. Now that my saving job is over, I think I'll settle down and take care of the tadpoles. Thank you for everything. No wait, it's the other way around. Trip down. Oh, Mr. Saturn. Trip down, hit nose on ground. Woof, I'm doing well too. Touch something rolling around. It wobbles with glee. There seems to be something inside, but you can't really tell what it is. Foot hits something small and round. It's a doorknob. Got the doorknob. Thanks. I feel so utterly incredibly thankful for everything you've done. Thanks for everything. We could always be together. We just met, and now we have to say goodbye. All the people of this world are saved thanks to you. Thank you, Flamingo Fishbot. That was fun, Flamingo Fishbot. Let's meet again sometime. We can meet as many times as we want. Flamingo Fishbot! Bye. What's the world there like? Looks like things will work out here, but what about your world? Will it be alright? God, if I know. Hey, other world. Be good to Flamingo Fishbot. Thanks.
Goodbye. 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 Thanks so much. Come back sometime. Thanks for everything. Flamingo Fishbot, we'll meet again sometime, right? Don't forget us. Goodbye. Thanks. We sure had a lot of fun, didn't we? Thanks. Alright, so now we have the credits, and then I think that's the end of the game. I love it when games have a uh, credits list of the characters in-game, like Thomas, Nicole, Lisa, Richie, Lighter, and Fuel. Bronson. And Abby. Paul and Linda. Jackie. Betsy and Tessie. I almost read Betsy is Betsu. That's who's scrolling out. Caroline and Angie. Oh man, you missed Jake Bonnie. A lot of really emotional stuff happened. You missed it. Matt, Jill, Biff, well I mean I'm probably gonna highlight the uh, ending of this and upload it on YouTube because that's what I usually do with games. Edman, Al, and Skip, Nicolite. Jonel, Brenda, Don and Bob, Reggie, Isaac, Bato, Nana, Pusher, Elmore, Holly and Sebastian. <laughs> Salty. We have Wes doing his awesome little dance. We have Boo Boo. Oh, the ghosts. I love the ghosts. Actually, that might be one of my favorite parts in this game is uh, when you go through Osohe Castle is, uh, Duster and um, Kumatora, item guy. DCMC. Neck, beard, and skin head. Bolt cup. There we go, that's her proper outfit. I have to say, Vodka's outfit, Kumatora's, looks super cozy. Dr. Andenons. <laughs> Mr. Pump, dry guy. The Bucket Bros. Clayman. The ultimate chimera. Man, if Parky had just sent the ultimate chimera on us, we would have been screwed. Mr. Saturn. Oh, I forgot about the one with the little, like, headscarf. That is the cutest Mr. Saturn. Leader. Root snake. Gotta love Rip Saint. Mm -hmm. 
these just the nameless NPCs? Gypsies. We have Aeolia, Doria, Lydia, Regia, Xylidia, Ionia. All the frogs. I really like the one that's in the snake slash umbrella. Oh, and the fairy frog is fantastic. Or butter frog. And facade. Supply. The Centaur one is just so disturbing. Porky, of course. The Masked Man. Saka and Tilapia. Hagfish. Oh. Trout and Kipper. That's a shame, because I was just about to finish up here and give you a uh, host. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but best of luck with your clients, PC. The worst time, it really is. Maybe somebody else is on right now who I can uh, host, though. Uh, nobody. Oh well. <laughs> Some things are just more important. Like earning money. That's that's up there. But yeah, go in that paycheck complex. Before he bursts a head vein? Have good stuff. Oh, the 8-bit drummer. Uh, who is the 8-bit drummer? Let me look this 
this up. Uh, search. So basically what hosting means, Life Mushroom, is when you stop your stream, you can input a command called host. And whenever people go onto your channel, like say somebody goes onto my channel or somebody's already on my channel and I hit host, I can have it automatically redirect to somebody else's channel. Keep it drummer is going offline, it sounds like. Fine. Let's see. Um. Well, I mean, it's still early on the West Coast. Piano and Pro Man. You know what? I want to see if there's anybody else streaming Mother 3 right now. If so, I'll probably just redirect to them so people can get better Mother 3 goodness. see here. Who can we host? Also, thank you guys for watching the stream. Mother 3. Kapow. Oh, that's right. I have to search it by game, don't I? Uh, I'm so terrible at looking things up on Twitch. Ugh! Angry noises my computer's making. Angry, angry noises. <laughs> 